So, you know, we talked a lot about thinking habits, but there's also the habit of, you know, so mental habits are the thinking. Then you have emotional habits, which are your relationships. So what are your habits around the relationship with people in your life? What is your relationship with yourself? Everything in your life life is a relationship. We have a relationship with our food, with our, you know, with our cars, right? So it's realizing that we're cultivating these relationships. And the more I cultivate a good relationship with myself, with my, my parents, my siblings, my husband, you know, my kids, whatever it is. So it's emotional habits on um, relationships. Then you have spiritual habits. And the other thing in the positive psychology research, which I love is they studied levels of happiness. And the, at the bottom level of just happiness is pleasure, right? Living the good life. I'm drinking champagne. I'm getting my nails done. You know, I have card night and we're going on vacations. The next level of the happiness scale is when you're in flow, right? And I know you know this when you're just having so much fun and you're just engaged. All your senses are engaged in the moment and time flies. Mm -hmm. But then the third level of happiness is doing something you love. Doing something you love for meaning something bigger in the world, right? That you're contributing to something bigger, mm -hmm. right? So again, that's the spirituality and looking at that through that lens saying, as are my actions connected to something greater than me? Yeah. Is it just about me, right? Because when you're, when it's about helping other people, again, your level of happiness increases. So I said, mental, physical, oh, and physical, Right. So just simple things. I always say, just like moving your body and drinking water, your body's, you know, 70, 80% water. So it's realizing that the habits you have around your body, you don't have to feel old. I always say, you probably know an 80 year old that has more energy than a 20 year old and a 20 year old that has no energy. Yes. So, it's, you know, where does this energy come from? It comes from the way they're living, the way they're thinking, the way they're processing. So to me, you know, looking at those habits. And then I always tease in my classes. I always say you could take a walk in the woods with a loved one and you hit all four. Mm 